right, everybody, I'm back down at Extreme Marine and I am here to check out another boat. Uh, believe it or not, I actually have an interest in this boat. I know my boat is not a forever boat and this boat uh, is one that uh, I seen online when it was posted and I called up Ken and said to him, can I come down and check that out? And then we just decided to do a video on it. So I'm gonna check out this, uh, this Crestliner well, Mr. Spielberg, this guy right here. <laughs> we got the Crestliner 1650 Pro Tiller in stock. Uh, very popular boat uh, down on uh, Lake St. Clair, Detroit River, St. Clair River. Guys do a lot of jigging, love this style of boat. Um, and it's been uh, very popular over the last few years. Yeah, we rigged it, uh, rigged it and decked it out as uh, you know, as nice as we want a fishing boat to be. Yeah. You don't want to get too many bells and whistles on it. You want to keep it nice and clean. But all the most important features to fishermen are built into this boat. Why don't we take a couple minutes, jump in and have a look. Yeah, I'd like to check it out. You all um, set? I'm all set, man. All right. Talk to me, talk to we me. We rigged this boat uh, with lots of power. Uh, 1650s run beautifully with a 60 horsepower. Mert four stroke with command thrust. That command thrust has a bigger lower end, gets you up on plane fast, gives you a little bit more uh, top end speed as well. A couple other nice features on this motor is the advanced tiller arm. So if you're right-handed or left-handed, you can operate this motor. One thing we don't do in the rigging process is we do not mount the seat down, and that's by design, because if you prefer the seat on this side, that's where we'll put it but if you prefer the seat on this side, that's where we can put it as well. That's a great idea, actually. So you can kind of change it around, maneuver it to where you need to have it, and yeah. basically it's, it's geared right to that fisherman that's driving the boat. Exactly. That's perfect. Custom, custom fit. Yeah. What about uh, live wells? Uh, what are we looking at live wells on this, uh, on this model? We got a couple. Oh, really? We got one at the back here, oh, fair nice. size. Uh, I believe it's 132 liter live well. Comes with a minnow bucket. And then we also have one up at the front here. So for those guys that like to do perching or jigging on the Detroit River and you need some bait, you got a bait well up at the front as well. That is just the most awesome thing I've ever seen. Just this cute little live well. Yeah, Crestliner does a good job thinking about all the, the little things that make fishing more comfortable. Oh, that's awesome. So anyways, uh, one of my biggest things that I ha like to have in a boat is a rod locker. That is like the most important thing. What do we got here? We have uh, two, four, six, eight, ten slots for up to a seven foot six rod or two uh, or spaces for two uh, two piece rods as well. Oh, nice. As you can see, this one is a 7.3, fits in there beautifully. Evergreen, by the way. Oh, nice. I think I've used one of those before. Nice rod. Slide in beautifully. The other nice feature too is uh, any batteries from your uh, trolling motor are stored underneath the rod locker. Easily accessible, but out of the way. And I assume that is lockable as well? Lockable as well. Awesome. Yep. So, uh, most of the compartments on this boat are actually lockable, which is another great for you. Oh, excellent, because you don't get that in all the boats, eh? No. Where they just, you got your rod locker and your tackle locker are usually the, the lockable ones. Exactly. But uh, if you got a majority of these uh, that are lockable, that's that's a great feature, actually. Exactly. Um, storage, too. It looks like we got some storage up front. You got ample storage up front. Put your anchors in there, your life uh, life jackets in there, some tackle trays in there, your um, your dock ropes, all that stuff fit nicely in these lockers. Keep in mind that the batteries are all stored underneath your rod locker, neatly out of the way. Nice, very nice. It looks like some nice seating on the front too. Change that out for a butt seat if you want. All the seats in Crest Liners are all movable. Pop it out. Bring her somewhere else. Bring her somewhere else. Exactly. Look at that. There you go. The, you know what I really like about this boat is how open it is. Okay, like I mean, I've always been that guy that, you know, I like the side consoles. 
kind of a big deal to me, you know, but now after seeing this in the sheer room that it has, like, you know, ease of movement is, is, is pretty important in a boat, yeah. especially when you're fishing, right? And you got two or three guys on the boat, you got to go net a fish, you like some space too. You wouldn't think this was a 16 foot boat with the amount of deck space that you have at the front here. If you like to jig or you're a caster for smallmouth bass, or you like flipping, uh, you have the ample space up at the front to be able to do all that. That's a good size deck, absolutely. How they built in the console on these boats is also always taking into consideration movement in the boat, being able to easily fish in any position. So where they built uh, your access point for your graph, so you can put up to a 12 inch graph in this slot. This tray pops out, this tray slides in, easy access to your graphs. Underneath you have tackle trays. Oh, you look at that, eh? Great idea, just keeping some stuff close by of uh, a lot of the stuff that you use most often. Yeah, I think I would need one that's a little bit bigger than that. Yeah. <laughs> but it works very, very well. Absolutely. And then a little accessory tray as well, which is also lockable. Put your wallet in there, put your keys in there, yeah, your yeah. expensive life jackets, that kind of thing. And then all your power, also easily accessible, and an upgraded Bose uh, stereo system. Sweet. Got your auxiliary inputs, all your switches, cup holders. That's a great little uh, little setup right there. Yeah. I like that. Very handy. Very handy and very accessible. Yeah. I did notice the uh, there's a gas fill up at the front here too. Oh yeah, look at that, right here. Yeah, nice. typically they're at the back, uh, but again, to make life easy for our fishermen, they mount it off to the side, so you're right by your gas tank. It's, uh, it's perfect for the type of uh, fishing I do. Some of the YouTubers I follow as well, uh, they have tiller style boats, and the ample room that they have with a tiller design boat to do all that they do, it, it's gold right there. Yeah, and a lot of people think, geez, you know, uh, is 60 horsepower enough power for this boat? Trust me, it's ample. 1650 with a 60 CT on it will run 30, 35 miles per hour, depending on how many guys and, and gear you have in your boat. That's, that's so pretty good. You're cruising nicely out there. That's pretty good on a tiller. I got, you got to appreciate that. Yeah. For guys that are wondering if you could use this boat on Lake Erie for trolling, absolutely, but always be cautious of the weather. Well, another cool thing I just noticed. Your rod latches. Forgot about those. Look at that. Sweet. Now you can lay some rods along there. Yeah, that's, uh, that's nice so they don't blow out of the boat. I like that. Your 3700 tray sits underneath the gunnel here mm -hmm. so that it doesn't fly out. But you could put, I think, either three or four of them in. Well, that's a great idea, actually. Yeah. Nice having that in front of these. Oh, yeah, look at that. Sit underneath there like that. Perfect. So you get one, two, three trays in. Easy access instead of going into the. Uh... Yeah, I mean, it, it keeps this area free for stuff that you don't necessarily need to get out. Yeah, yeah, much, for sure. Right? But even these lockers themselves are pretty darn big. Yeah. Yeah, definitely lots of room in them for sure. Yeah, you look at the height. Yeah. All right. Lots of depth, lots of storage. Lots of lockable storage. That's what I really like, hey? Because you can't get that with all the boats where you get all this locking storage. It's just a couple, they just got a couple of compartments and that's it. Yeah. Your moderately priced boats will have one locked storage and that's usually for your rods. Yeah. Once you start getting into premium brands, they realize that customers are, you know, they're putting a lot of value in their boats. Yeah, so yeah. they want to make sure that there's lots of lockable uh, compartments. So this boat will take up to a 75 horse. Yeah, so we have two models in. Uh, we brought this one in with the 60 CT, and then we also have another 1650 Pro Tiller that's in black with a 75 on Oh, nice. So we maxed out on the power on that. Nice, that thing's gonna move pretty good yeah. with the 75. Yeah. That's, that's and nice. And both of them will be in the 50K range. Yeah, yeah. 
Cool. Well, this is a nice boat. I, I the, the color is what gets me. I just sexy, eh? Oh, it is sexy. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video on the uh, Crestliner. Uh, this 1650 is a nice boat, and like I said before, uh, I've been considering going back uh, to a tiller style boat. Uh, this is definitely something I would consider uh, at buying in the future and hopefully I can make it happen because this thing is just chalked up with some beautiful features. Absolutely love it. Thanks again, Ken, uh, for, yeah, you know, I said this is, uh, you know, as much as I come down here making videos and doing what I do, I still have an interest in boats and I am still planning on upgrading. So this is the perfect thing for me to do and actually get a chance to check out some boats and do some really good things because we got some good stuff planned for the future right yeah we certainly do so can't wait till spring yeah we got uh, we got some uh on the water testing that we're planning on doing so that should be fun yeah and uh, so but anyways if you're in the area come down here see him ken will help you out with uh anything that you need whether it's boating related uh supplies fishing you name it, it's all here, uh, and you will look after you. Come and check out our new fishing gear, too. Lots of new rods and reels hitting uh, Extreme Marine. We're excited for spring. Can't wait. Awesome.